So let me preface this video by saying that this will be largely the same, if not very similar for any John Deere L or D or LA series lawnmowers, and this should apply to you. But this is how we're going to replace my worn out steering components on my particular tractor. As I said, the process for this will largely be similar. This model is a 2003 or 2005, I can't remember which. I'm gonna pull off the deck, but in order to remove the deck, it's a little bit simpler than you would think. You're going to undo this one right here, that cotter key. I like to put all the cotter keys up there. You also have a washer, which definitely needs to be replaced. And back here, you have two cotter keys. Pull that one out, pull that one out. Use a hammer. This one. Now for the other side. Pull out those washers. We're gonna have to remove this funky washer, and you just kind of ease her off. You don't want to damage this, but you need to take this off in order to slide this rod out, but we'll get to that when we do. So now that this is done, you just lift up on the deck a bit to assist yourself and just very carefully pull the rods off. So then over here, all you got to do is lift up the deck like before. That rod out of the way, slide your belt off, and now just pull the deck out. So here we are down below. It looks like you have easy access to this, and in a way that you, in a way you do, but you have to remove this bottom plate that this thing is attached through. There's a way to do that. First, what we're going to have to do is and rod right there. We're going to have to pull this out, easy enough. So now, you guys can see it's a, got a little bit of damage on that nut. Hopefully that's not going to be that big of a deal. Just pull down until you get some movement. enough. That's how you remove that. You can see all the wear that's on this pinion gear. So now that that's out, you can move this around a little bit easier. WD-40. So that's out of the way. There's the rod. All right. Now it's the same thing on the other side of this, but there's two 10 millimeter bolts you're gonna have to remove. Oh yeah, it needs to be cleaned out in there for sure. That, that's that. So this thing was really dirty. I'm still gonna have to clean it up some, but now we just need to pull these steering arms off. The top one is a 15. So I got that there, but I've actually got a socket. Leave that there for now. Bottom one, I believe is a 13. Yep. See, got the 13 there. If you're gonna do that for the other side as well. Okay. 
All right, so we're up here. This was a metal bushing. I'm gonna go spray this off with the hose. I don't know how much of that clip I just didn't get because I forgot to hit the record button, but all there is is two 15 millimeter bolts on here, here, and then the nuts are 15 as well. You just undo those from the other side. I used an impact, not too bad. I'm gonna wash these parts off, but before we do that, we can look at the old steering gear here and you'll see how pointy the edges are compared to the new one. This isn't horrible. It's definitely still usable, but you're gonna get a lot of slop out of that and it's better to just replace it. Night and day difference between the two. So, new one. Let me go wash this off. All right, so it's mostly cleaned off. Good enough for me anyways. Grab the plastic bushing. I will be keeping the metal one, just in case. Got two of them, it is what it is. So when you reinstall this, you wanna make sure that the lip here is facing away from the plate. WD-40. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I do wanna make another point. Both of these holes, you wanna make sure they're not wallered out into an oval. New one of these plates is about 50 bucks, depending on where you go. But we're just gonna go ahead and reinstall it. Then also you do have an alignment hole right here. But they also include these two new bushings. But they did not include the washer for whatever reason. We'll just keep that where it is, throw the bolt through. These bolts are still fine. Obviously, if yours are rusty, go ahead and replace them, but I'm just gonna run these because I'm not worried about it. They're not rusty. Surprisingly, they're in pretty good shape. You don't tighten these back up too tight. that alignment bolt through and that's very important that you install this aligned because you don't want it too far to the left or the right just like on a car you'll screw up your alignment so you want to keep it as in line as possible all right so that's all back together meet you guys back at the mower So we're going to slip this piece back up and in place. And then I'm just going to uh, tack the bolts back in. Now keep in mind, we do still have this alignment bolt here. I will be removing that in a little bit. So now I'm just gonna put the steering shaft back through. So I just fought this thing for a little too long. What I had to end up doing here was loosen this up just enough to drop this bushing so I'd get a little bit more play. I only needed a little bit in order to get the pinion gear back in. So now just to tighten that bushing back up and uh, throw the 
nut back on and hopefully we'll be good to go for a test drive. So all that's done. It's perfectly fine. Now we just have to align the steering wheel. millimeter Just like that. it's good enough for me Uh, just to do some cleanup. I'm not going to put the deck on just yet because I want to sharpen the blades on it. Probably do that next weekend, but I will put the hood back on and clean up all the stuff. And of course, don't forget to put this little washer back on. Perfect. that needed this. Stay tuned for more videos.